What's going on guys, Eternal Wind back, and today I wanted to actually discuss the leaks of the incoming mechs and vehicles uh, for those of you that have not played the first game. Um, there is a lot of hype and a lot of excitement around these uh, mechs and vehicles that have yet to release, and while they are coming soon, I, I just wanted to go ahead and let you guys know to I wouldn't say expect the worst but don't let the hype get to you for those of you that have not played the first Helldivers game the mechs were very very weak um, in terms of their durability they could only get hit a couple of times and then they were done and one of the reasons this was so detrimental to your stratagem loadout is because you could only call them in once. So once you called it in, even if you didn't even get to jump in it and it got attacked and blown up, you're now down to three stratagems for the rest of the match. Now, I don't know if that's going to be the same for this game. Hopefully they will allow us to summon them multiple times. But the other thing to keep in mind is not only do they have very weak durability, but they also have a very low ammo capacity. Now it looks like the standard exosuit with the chain gun and rocket pod has had its rocket pods increased from 8, like it was in the first game, to 14. And as of right now, we don't know if there's going to be a way to resupply the ammo for the mechs. Uh, but once your ammo is out, that's it. That's a wrap. So that's another con for these these mech suits that everybody is so excited to try out. Now, even with that being the case, I have seen some footage here recently um, of one of the mechs up against the automatons. And it looks like normal gunfire is ricocheting off of the mech. So... What that says to me is there's a level of armor penetration that the enemy needs when shooting at you. So, I can't confirm this, but it looks like the only thing that's probably going to damage you are going to be the, the rocket devastators or the, the rocket hulks. Um, it looks like normal gunfire won't, so that's really good. But if you have a bunch of bugs that just jump over to your mech and you don't kill them in time, they're just going to waste that thing. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind that we've seen is for the vehicles it looks like we have a fuel capacity um, I cannot for sure say that this was something that was in the first game um, but they too had a very weak durability N the mechs nor the vehicles were really ever used especially on higher difficulties if you think you're gonna be able to drop these into hell dive and shred it's not gonna happen um, at least as far as I can tell now, uh, take take what I'm saying right here, right now, uh, you know, with a grain of salt. I would love to be able to use these on Helldive, but at least in terms of the first game, they were never utilized on the harder difficulties because, again, once they were either blown up or out of ammo, you're now down to three stratagems. Um, so, just something to keep in mind. Uh, the vehicle ammo is also... You know can be depleted so once it's depleted that's it for that as well um but as long as we're able to call these in multiple th uh, times i think this will actually solve a lot of the issues from the first game um but that's it i just wanted to go ahead and quickly cover this uh for those of you that hadn't played the first game um like i said i know there's a lot of hype around these but i'm really concerned i mean obviously they've had eight to nine years to you know change whatever it is they want to change if anything for these things um do keep in mind that we're probably going to end up with at least three mechs um at least in terms of the first game uh you know so far we've seen two but uh you know we've got the one with the chain gun and the rocket pod the one with the auto cannon arms and then there's also going to be one and these are very similar to the hulks that you fight in the game now there's going to be one with a flamethrower for sure um at least in terms of the first game and it also had a rocket launcher so you had uh, a flamethrower for anything close range and then a rocket launcher for any heavies um, and then in terms of the vehicles 
you know, we had a motorcycle with the side cart. Uh, it was extremely fast uh, and could really get you where you needed to go quick. Uh, so I could see that, you know, being helpful for those objectives where everything is just spread out to the, the edges of the map. Um, and then we also had uh, two tanks, tank-like uh, vehicles where I believe one was a two-seater for one to drive and one to shoot the cannon. And then the other one was somebody drove the two side portions had chain guns on them and then, of course, a turret on the back. Um, obviously, they're not out yet. We don't know anything for sure. Again, take this with a grain of salt, but I did want to go ahead and just quickly cover this for those of you that hadn't played the first game. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to stay up to date on all of my content. I will catch you on the next one, guys. Thanks for coming out. Doses.